If anybody says that all fats lead to fat gain, they don't understand the biology, all right? They don't understand how nutrition impacts fat formation and fat loss. Will you please teach people once and for all why chia seeds, flax seeds, and avocados will not lead to weight gain from a nutritional science perspective, not only from a physical proof of yourself? Well, yes, there is physical proof of myself, right? I am so not fat. Um, but one of the problems that I have is people will often want me to explain why something false is false. Like I have to prove why something is not true, right? It's a lot easier to prove the truth than to disprove a myth right? It's like someone saying, prove to me that there is no Easter bunny. How do I prove that there's no Easter bunny? Really prove to me that there's an Easter bunny, right? So that's kind of what you're asking me, right? But the nutritional science is that if anybody says that all fats lead to fat gain, they don't understand uh, the biology, all right? They don't understand how nutrition impacts fat formation and fat loss, right? Because not everything you eat turns into body fat. When you eat, the things you eat turn into different things. So some things you eat will turn into body fat and other things will turn into hormones and other things will turn into parts of the cell. Uh, and so, and, and so on and so on, right? So there are some types of fats that will lead to more body fat formation, like saturated fats that come from animal products, dairy products, eggs, right? But then there's other kinds of fats that cannot physiologically become body fat. And that would be the types of fats that you would find in avocados, as well as chia seeds and flax seeds, which are the fatty acids. So avocados are mostly omega-9, although they have a little bit of six and three, they're mostly nine by a long shot. Um, and they do not, that does not become body fat. And then on top of that, flax seeds, chia seeds, mostly omega-3, uh, which stimulate metabolism, which helps you burn body fat. So my husband actually tested these uh, back in, when we were in California, he had the largest boot camps in Orange County, California. And I loved it when he had boot camps. I was in some sick shape, but uh, he had the largest boot camps in Orange County. And he actually has a patent because he's also a computer scientist. He developed a patent that allowed him to use a program that he developed, a technology program he developed to keep the whole boot camp working together at the same pace on the same exercises so that he could then walk around and help each person individually, right? So he had a system in place where everybody in all of his boot camps were doing the same workouts at the same timing in the same way. And then all he did was give people different diets to test to see what works best. He also did this to develop his um, fat killer programs. He tested different types of high intensity intervals to see which interval timings created the fastest fat loss. And that's how he created his whole series of uh, fat killer that he has, all right? So uh, what he did with omega-3 fatty acids is he saw that when he added omega-3 fatty acids, people had faster fat loss. They had better and, and quicker improvement in their physical abilities, right? So then he put different groups on different amounts of omega-3 to see, is there an amount that's too much where instead of having faster fat loss and faster results, they instead start to have worse outcomes or stabilize. And what he found is even with thousands of calories of omega-3s from the oil, they were drinking it because there's no other way to really titrate it up that high, thousands of calories a day from omega-3 oils, they only had faster and faster fat loss, faster and faster and faster. What, what made people stop? was the GI. Eventually it's gross. Like how much oil can you drink without being like, Bleh! it's enough, Thomas. So he actually tested it to find out, is it possible to overdo it and not get results? And what he showed was no matter, even when you can have an enormous amount, more calories from omega-3 than most people eat in a whole day from anything else, they only had faster and better results with their fat loss. So there's the physiology aspect where omega-3 fatty acids physically cannot turn into fat cells. They don't, they turn into immune cells, they turn into parts of cell membranes, even omega-6 fatty acids, they turn into inflammatory immune cells, they turn into parts of your cell membrane. These things do not cause, it's not body fat, okay? But then on top of it, he actually tested it and showed that same thing with avocados, unlimited avocados in his fat loss programs and people only lose fat, they do not gain it. So there's the science, which people get wrong with these weird assumptions. And it might sound really catchy to say like the fat you eat all becomes body fat. I'm not gonna say exactly, I don't wanna disparage anyone, but it can sound catchy and it can sound convincing, but the science proves it's wrong and the results proves it's wrong.
Okay, so hopefully that makes that makes you happy, SM. I wanna make you happy. <laughs>